Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance, this will be part 23 of our Let's Play. And in the last episode, we made a ton of money, we did a bunch of dispatch missions, and now we have a couple more missions to do. So just as a quick recap, not what I meant to do. Gotta have fat fingers and dumb fingers. Uh, we have a bunch of missions to do. So we have Cursed Bride in one of the towns, I guess. We have the Road of Volcano dispatch mission. We just three more enemies and we're done. Uh, and then we have Royal Ruins in Nargai Cave. Uh, which is good. We have Pale Company, which is our next main mission. But I think we're going to try and find this uh, Kill Bride one. Seems like it's probably in Kadoan. Okay, sure. Alright. Nope. Okay, I have no idea where that is. Now, have you got any rumors? No, we sorted that. Oops. What about missions? Kadoan Watch. There's a bomb infestation near the town of Kadoan. Please help us drive them back before Kadoan burns to the ground. We'll get a Shamshir and a Predator. Don't see why not. Uh, ooh, Powder Worries. Oh, that's the Gunner one, which can't do. Uh, come on out. Jerky, we can't do that. Performer, can't do that. Darn Kids, no. Food for Truth, Powder Worries, Alba Cave, Cheap Blast, Refurbishing. Yeah, we can't do all this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. So... Okay, I'm very confused as to where the hell this other one is, then. Is it in the swamp? Actually, on that note, can we see our turf? Is there any way that was under attack? No, it's just Eisenfeld. Sure. Yeah, it's the only problem with this one. Um, it doesn't tell us... It doesn't actually tell us where these are. Oh, wait, hang on. Is this going to be in Nagai Cave as well? Nope. We do have to do Royal Ruins in 14 days, though. Uh, probably worth doing. I'll bet you it's down here. I'll bet you it's at the Ule River. Okay, let's do Royal Ruins. We're already here. No point wasting time. I like this soundtrack. No copycat, uh, which means we can't do the same thing as the person before us, which is fine. Uh, you're the Morpher, correct? Yeah, you don't really have any abilities, so you can just chill out for a minute. But maybe we bring... Wait, who is our hunter? Oh, is that Gilbert? Or have we sent him on a mission? We might have sent him on a mission. Yeah, sorry, I think we did. We had a hunter, we sent him on... something. Because it wasn't Willy. No. No, okay. Kinda sucks, but that's fine. Uh, we'll bring some shit people. So we'll bring Gilbert... We'll bring Mont Blanc. So, what's our laws? Oh, shit. Dumb fingers. Uh, no missiles. So, we can't use bows anyway. I'll bring Natalia. And we'll bring Nero. Or do we bring Sharu? We'll bring Sharu, I think, just for, just for shits and giggles. Okay, so no ganging up. No, wait, no copycat. Ganging up is fine. So we can't do the same action that the person before us did. Which actually I think is... I think is mostly fine. Ooh. Level question mark holy. That's a fun one. Well, 
Shit. <laughs> I think we're fucked, guys. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So level, level question mark holy. I'll have a look at it, but I'm pretty sure what it does is... Yeah, because we don't have any revives or anything. Oh, bugger me. Um, it does holy damage to everyone the same, with the same level as you. Same ones digit in level. Wait, what? Wait, what? Same one digit in level and days. But they were all level 10. Oh, and days, though. I don't really know what that means. But that, that fairy just brutalized us. I mean, this is going to be the real test of... How good are we? Okay, Gilbert can't help there. So this is where we probably use, like, Backdraft... This is where we find out how good my main character is. Like, literally can my main character carry this entire battle on their own. Now normally, I know I always say this, that like first aid is useless, but I don't really have a choice. Um, I can't use battle tech. Oh sorry, I can't use fighter skills because that's what the Aussie nerd just did. So... <laughs> you, you gotta heal. Wow, that was brutal, though. Resonate. Okay. Don't know what that would have done. And that only cost 20. You're probably gonna do it again. Yep. Okay, well, Gilbert, uh, Ripperino in Pepperino. Wow, 108 damage. Bugger me. Bugger me. Problem is, I'm probably going to get frogged. I should be immune, but can't know for sure. Ooh, I hit pretty hard. I can't just nurse my way through it, though. Which I'm probably going to have to. Well, I didn't ask to uh, solo their entire their entire team, but this is the life I have to live now. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Give me a break here. It's me versus four at the moment. G give me give me a kill. I don't remember how much Nurse actually does, though. I think it might be- I might be able to heal, like, 20, but they're still gonna hit me for more than that. Also, I don't know if Raze works if you're the last person alive. I think it might just kill you outright. Uh, yeah, that- that can't work. That's a nice try, though. Would've really turned the game around. I'm probably immune to whatever Resonate is as well. At a, at a guess. Thank you. Whew, okay, one down. I think we're gonna have to find out if uh, Raze actually works. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any other abilities. Okay, I don't remember what the last thing they did was. They, they did technically move and then wait, but I don't think that counts. 
Okay, so air blast is going to do how much? 46. That's pretty garbage. I'm assuming air render is going to do quite a bit more than that. 59. <laughs> okay, well, I have to take it. I do air render this turn. He comes and attacks me. I counter. Then probably nurse. Oh, no. You're running. You can't heal yourself. Bit of a weird choice. I think the biggest concern here is going to be the, the, uh, turtle. The big turtle. Because they usually hit pretty hard and have very high defense. So that one's almost certainly going to come down to a slugging match. Uh, what can you do? Can you do match or magic? Yes, what does Resonate do? Back, back sword quivers create resonance. Disables target. Ah, I can't be disabled. Yeah, so you can do Matra Magic, which might be bad. Because giving me 30 health is actually pretty scary. Um, but it does mean that I don't really need to heal right now, because it doesn't sort of help. If you know what I mean. Like, even if I healed now, if he gets in range, he'll just matra magic me, and then it doesn't matter. So I might as well wait until he tries to do me. Oh shit, you can actually get in range. Well, I think we're gonna find out if, uh, Watsy works. Raze works. Kill him. Yes! Okay, 2v1. We can do this. The matra magic is pretty scary. But I highly doubt he can do 30 damage to me. So even if he matra magics me, he can't kill me. I don't think. He's gonna matra magic me. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Because I can heal myself before that happens. And I can just burn down his, like, MP. But I think what we're going to do here is we're going to Far Fist and take her out. Or not, because she has quite a high dodge. Okay, in that case we're just going to heal ourselves. We'll, we'll just nurse. Okay, so I can do 17. That's not amazing. But should definitely put me in range of being safe from, like, a random attack. Oh shit, you can probably float. Yeah, you can, so you can attack me in the back. You're gonna kill me. Well... Oh, it does work. It does count. Eat shit. You are so dead. <laughs> I am going to kill the shit out of you and I'm gonna enjoy it. I am almost certainly about to get matter magic by the stupid turtle. To drop my health again. And then if I don't kill the fairy, she's gonna kill me. Wait, what? No. No. She literally just killed me and got two turn oh, because my turn would be next. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? In that case, there's really nothing I can do about this, because like, there's no way I can air render her. 30%. Can I see how far she can move? No. Oh, I can. I can see her movement points. Uh, which is... Speed is 100... Oh, there we go. Movement, 4. Okay. Just 70 of A. Jesus. Okay, that's fine. I'll go here. Oh god, this has gone downhill so far. So I went from basically having this in the bag to suddenly I'm one versus four. Now suddenly I'm one versus two and I can't kill one of the last two. I need to go before her. That's what needs to happen here. Because he'll just keep matter magicking me as much as he can. She needs to come forward and face a bad direction. Which it doesn't look like she will. Okay, 
Okay, if I if I nurse here, I do 17, which will give me like 51. Not enough to actually save me. So I'm probably better off just trying to far fist her. And going for the 30% chance. Oh my god, I got it. Okay. Um. Now the question is, how much damage does the turtle do? Because if he can just keep dropping my MP, my health to my MP, then there's sort of no point, no point fighting it. Okay, I'm just gonna nurse myself. God, I've never been happier than nurse is a thing. Can he do as much damage as the fairy? I'm I'm betting the answer is no. Wild swing. No, we don't want that. Uh Erenda? Yeah, see, like, 31. He's got such a high melee defense. I wonder if I can parlay? No, you can't discuss it with him, right. Okay, actually... Right, I'm going to nurse myself. Oh, you do it to everyone around you. I mean, that's fine. He's got full health anyway. God, this is actually requiring a bit of tactics here. Oh, come on, I healed more on the friggin' turtle than I did myself. Yeah, I deserve a level up here. Right. I should be safe from the attack here. He's gonna matter magic me. Yeah. Of course you are. Hopefully he misses. He did. Okay. Now, he can't counter, which is important. Because it means I effectively have, like, two turns of safety before I need to worry. Right, 65% is probably a good bet. He can't heal himself, so the question is, can I slug him down before he slugs me down? So how much damage is he going to do here? Uh, he's not. He's going to run away. It's a bold strategy. I don't know why he isn't just attacking me. Because I can just keep him at a distance and dink him. Well, this was a surprisingly, like, or a... Yeah, surprising, shocking, sort of... I did not expect this to be so... Difficult. Okay. Again, is this the bit where I just jump up here and then nurse myself again? I, I bet you he can't do 50 damage. That, that, like, the Giga Fairy was just pretty strong. So he might just run away again. Or is he going to match or magic me again? Okay, so this is the game we're playing, huh? All right. Unfortunately, it only ever drops me to the same amount of health. And I mean, hell, if I just keep you at the front, then... Then you can't really stop me. Come up and attack me. Oh, you coward. Yeah, see? But he's eventually going to miss, and he's going to run out of MP. Because Matra Magic does cost. I'm pretty sure, otherwise they would do it every turn. Yeah, no, he's running out of MP, okay. And not only, if he does that every turn, then I can nurse every turn. I know this is not the most exciting battle, but... I, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Not. Well, I'm happy with the turnaround that we have seen, because the start of this was a bit too much.
Okay, and then once again, I can just keep hitting you from here. Or trying, anyway. I hit you as much as you hit me with the Matra Magic. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Because I don't want to get stuck in a corner. I suspect that it's possible he might be able to... Um, do like 30 damage. Which is why he keeps trying to match or magic me and then sort of close. And he only changes his mind every time I heal. You know, he only does match or magic again when I heal. Not... Oh, okay, he's going for it. Yeah, he does 25. Okay. So Matra Magic is like his only chance. Boom! We won! Is my character the greatest hero in the land? You decide. That's all I'm going to say about that. I notice we haven't won yet, though. Oh, uh, wait, don't we have to, like, destroy these? Yeah, we do. Okay. Smash that. Oh, wait, shit. No. Oh, wow. I thought we might have just gotten penalized. I was actually very concerned there. Oh, my God. Okay. What I'm really worried about here is I suspect this might actually drag me into a second phase. And I really hope that's not the case. Because that would be pretty awkward. No? Uh, maybe two phase battles or anything in the second game. Oh my god. Just be over. Yes! Oh, we are a hero. We are the hero that Ivalis deserves. We are amazing. Okay, roll and I, I don't give a shit about you. Get out. Oh my god, I'm actually thrilled there. That was amazing. What a comeback. What a comeback. I don't care. Get out. Come back when you're a banger. Okay, now we have to go to Eisenfeld and not lose it. Jesus, okay. <laughs> wow. Nice black robe. Actually, black robe may teach something good. Nope. Wait, was it Gilbert? What do you know? No, we had a hunter. Was it was it Willie? What I'm very confused. I thought we had a hunter. Have we not had a hunter? No, we haven't, because our starting archer was you. And you can't become a hunter. Right. Wow, I... Yeah, wow, I, I forgot. Okay, so we'll probably make Willy an archer after this. Actually, what's he learning? Ah, uh, we'll let him finish it. He's nearly done. Okay, you learnt that other thing. You learnt Rush. So, not Rush, not Wild Swing. What else we got? Air Render. Done. Uh, now, what do we learn from the Black Road? I think we learned something. Ah, Return Magic. Oh my god, that's a good ability. Oh, Keith, that would have been all over you, my friend. Alright, we'll give it to Nero. I don't think he's learning anything. No, he knows Counter. 
Okay, maybe we teach Randolph then. Our little time mage. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So, enjoy. You can have a black robe. And therefore learn Return Magic. Which is a very cool spell. It's basically like Reflect, except you do get hit by the spell. So like, they shoot lightning at you, you get hit by it, then you shoot lightning back at them. Even if you don't know the spell. Very, very good. Very, very top tier. Wow. Okay, let's help Eisenfeld. So we really need a hunter. Um, we really need a hunter. Uh, no great swords, no call. Okay, so that's you two out. Lucas, what are you using right now? Great sword? It's a knight sword. So you can be my boss boy. And then we'll bring some garbage tier people. Randolph, you're pretty garbage tier. Uh, bring Nero, and we need a healer, so we'll actually bring Natalia, maybe. She can use Earth Heal. It'll probably be, probably be good enough. We have like an Animus, a Juggler. The Juggler is a bit worrying. Uh, the Gunner, not as much. The Thief, that's so-so. Okay, probably shouldn't charge you out in front, though. Oh wait, she knows white magic anyway. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh. Not quite far enough? I guess we'll just put you there. Oh wow, 29%. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Honestly, in that case, just chill out there. Don't, don't even move. Let Hastings come to us. Seem to go after Randolph. I should have started them all on, like, one back. I swear to god, if that little shitlord has, like, steel armor and he steals that black robe, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, I might go after this guy. Uh, Soul Sphere... damage to MP. Wow, and he has Rasp. What's with Templars just being, like, anti... anti-magic? I guess that's kind of what Templars are, right? Uh, you want to counter me and face the wrong direction? Go nuts, my friend. And actually, I just realized they have an Animus that can't call. Because it's it's illegal. Uh, can we just air render him? 37? That's plenty. 99. I like to think it's like a, it's a magical elbow drop to the back of the head. Just, poof, he's gone. Alright, Holben, what's the play here? Because you can't do anything except for attack. And animist attacks are not a lot to write home about, let's be honest. Wow, Randolph, you're actually a pretty strong mage. Maybe we should actually be accepting some of these new recruits just because their stats are going to be a ton better. And I know there's special characters you can get, but I don't think we're looking at getting any of those for a really long time. So maybe it's worth just filling up our clan. And then we can just dump people when the new characters come along. Might be the way to go. Okay, if you can slow him, that would be pretty strong. Nice. Because, yeah, the juggler and the gunner are probably the only two main threats left. And the gunner can't do a lot on his own. Gunners are not, like, they're not crowd control. They're single target attackers. Um, they can do status effects, but he may not have that many. And some of them are just shit. Some of them are just like, do lightning damage instead of physical damage. Like, 
not super exciting. Okay, can I... Can I hit you with a tornado? I mean, I can. I can for 23. What if I just... If I just sock him in the back of the head with my magic? Okay, that's, that's way better. Okay, unless it misses, I guess. Okay. Doopy doopy doo. You're gonna go do that. Uh, Randolph, do you want revenge? Revenge. Do I just like quarter his health? I think that's 25. I'll bet you Blizzara does way more. 55. Yeah, okay. But yeah, so Randolph is actually quite a strong wizard. Um, like, way more than some of the ones I've had from the start. And he's a lower level, so I'm willing to bet he just has better growth. Or, like, he started better. I don't know how much stat growth is a thing in this. Might have to look it up. Because I don't want to sort of waste their potential. Because then you get things like my character, who's not very good at nurse. Like, I've seen some of them can heal for, like, 50 points and stuff. And, like, Chakra with the white mages. Ooh, okay. Charm and damage. Could be bad. Didn't actually hit it, which is good. But, yeah, that's a bit concerning. like 19 MP damage. Yeah, why not? I know it's only 35%, but it's not like I can really hit him with anything anyway. Boom. Okay. Now has no MP, so we should be pretty safe from him doing anything. Now, I know the little Animus is still alive, but again, he can't do much damage. We got three people over there, and I want to make sure we get up on that gunner so he doesn't just start running away. Because they, they will do that. They will just, just cheese it. And it's very annoying. His gun is usually quite fast, so they'll just keep out of your reach and shoot you. Give him the poke for death. Yeah, death poke. Death poke! They still sound awful when they die. Especially after they've been shivved in the spine with a rapier feels bad. I mean, okay, it doesn't feel that bad. He, he absolutely deserved it, but it feels bad. Okay, so if I just... If I hit with haste, it's going to bounce back on me, right? I mean, it's fine. I guess the mirror mail does suit the Templar, since apparently he's like 100% anti-mage, so this is like the ultimate anti-mage thing. Oh, does that, does that not cost MP? Huh. Actually, I should have known that. He had full MP when I hit him with the Soul Sphere. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Again, not the end of the world, but just kind of shit. Yeah, see, like, he can heal for 36. I wonder if I need to make my main character like a mage class for a little bit. Just to build up his his intelligence. Or whatever they use to, you know, measure uh, measure magic power. You need health? Yeah, you need a little bit. Whatever, it's worth some MP. Ah, oh, MP, XP. Okay, am I within range of this idiot yet? Not quite. Can I hit him with a slow? No, it's even shorter. Fair enough. I mean, I'll just surround him. If he hits with a charm shot, that would be bad. But... Again, I don't know if that's the end of the world. I think we could definitely probably just hit, like, Gilbert with something before that happens. Should we just slow him? 
probably worth it. The less actions he gets, the less he can run away. Well, I, I think it was worth the risk. Because he's just going to run right now. Like, maybe we'll hit him with an air render for 35%. Come on, you got this. Wow, you did get this. What's with these 35% hits? God, I'll be honest, I really expected to get more done in this episode. I didn't expect to go into a map and have my entire party wiped. Oh, you little... Little coward. Who does that? Just shoot back. Face your death like a man. This isn't like me in, this, in the nurse body strategy where I could win. Like, you can't win. You're just annoying. Okay, you, you need to go. I'm done with you. I'm done playing this game, Mr. Gunner. Please be dead. Thank you. Very thoughtful of you. Wow, well, that one was a bit easier than the, uh, the first mission I did today. Because holy shit, that was a thing. Alright, anyone master things? Oh, you mastered Earth Heal. Near a Master Cura, nice. Okay, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so before we do anything, you need to get a new rapier. Uh, Stinger doesn't do anything for ya. Airstock teaches heavy dust, which I believe is a blinding one, which is pretty good. And then you learn Cura. Uh, Arrow, you already know. Less stuff. Dispel. Eh, I guess. I'm not in enough of a like mood to go chase down whatever the next one is. I just want to see. Because again, I'm pretty sure that the Kill the Bride quest is probably in the Ule River. No? Where the hell is this mission, then? I'm very confused. It doesn't appear to be anywhere. The only place I could, like, left that I think is maybe it's a Salika Wood? It's not Nob's Wood. Ah... Uh, God damn it. I really want to end this episode, but I'm legitimately interested in where the hell this thing is now. There. Okay, it's the Elude Sands. I would not have picked that. Alright, anyway guys, we are going to end this episode here, so thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them, I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback with videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.